Straight to the big story, that snowballing into a full-fledged controversy, BJP's Telangana legislator K. Lakshman has questioned Chief Minister Chandrasekhar Rao's decision to appoint Sanya Mirza as the state's brand ambassador. Lakshman, who is the leader of the BJP in the Telangana Legislative Assembly, made a derogatory remark against this decision, calling Sanya the daughter-in-law of Pakistan and questioned her credentials for the honour. He's also raised objections, uh, saying that Sanya was not born in Hyderabad, but was born in Maharashtra, and hence, she's not a local. Headline today spoke to BJP leader K. Lakshman, who refused to apologise and went on to say that this was not his personal view, but that of his party. You see, we respect Sanya Media as a, one of the best sportswomen of this country. She has brought laurels. As far as this brand ambassador is concerned, our chief minister from Telangana, he has made pre-1956 as a document of proof being a native uh, from Telangana to claim even fee reimbursement. But Sanya Media, she has been born in Maharashtra. She was bred in Hyderabad. Now she's a turtle of Pakistan. Now how can we she uh, um, uh, announce as a brand ambassador for Telangana? Mr. Lakshman, the, again you're calling Sanya Mirza a daughter-in-law of Pakistan. Don't you think that's derogatory? Sanya Mirza is a national sports person who's won several tournaments for, uh, for the country. <coughs> She's someone that the country is proud of. To call her Pakistan's daughter-in-law is extremely shameful on your part as somebody who's been elected by people of this country. You see, you have seen, she has shown disrespect, disrespect even to the national flag, even in the Olympiad game. Many uh, news have come in the headlines also. Even your BBC, Times Now, everybody has reported. Now, when it comes to the local, as a local, and our CM claims that pre-1956 should be the document proof. But uh, she doesn't belong to pre-1956 also. How Mr. Lakshman, I have a problem with your calling Sanya Mirza daughter-in-law of Pakistan. First of all, she's an individual. She's not just somebody's son or daughter or daughter-in-law. She's an individual and she's someone who's earned laurels for this country. How do you, how, how do you describe her as no. daughter-in-law of Pakistan? Is that really her identity? As an, as an individual, as a player, national player, we respect her. But being a brand ambassador for Telangana, being a brand ambassador, there are many other sportsmen, there are many people who are born, brought up in Hyderabad. They are there. They can be they can be announced. But what made our PM and our government uh, so, uh, to announce only Sanya Mirza? There so, are many other so people. So you're saying because she married a Pakistani cricketer, which is why she shouldn't be appointed uh, as the brand ambassador, it discol her marriage disqualifies no, no, no. her from the honour? It, it, it's one of the reasons. Now, pre-1956 is the criteria adopted by our government, our PM to be claimed as a native of Telangana or native of Hyderabad. But she has not born in Hyderabad. She has born in Maharashtra. She has uh, lived in Hyderabad. Mr. Yeah, Lakshman, I want a uh, clarification has, from you. Is this I, your I personal deny, view I, or I, is I this the view deny, of your party, the BJP in Telangana, the that Sanya Mirza India. is not suitable to be the brand ambassador uh, of Telangana? Is this your personal view or that of the party? Yeah, it's a party view. It's a party view. We have taken a decision in the party at our state level. It's a state party view because Telangana, as far as Telangana is concerned, our PM claims that 1956 should be the proof of document to be called as a Telangana, as native of Telangana. And now that she, she has been appointed as a brand ambassador of Telangana by your chief minister, what exactly do you plan to do? Beg your pardon? Now that the Chief Minister has announced that Sanya Mirza will be the brand ambassador of Telangana, what exactly does the BGP plan to do? Do you plan to protest? Yeah, we will take over it. We will discuss, we'll discuss in the forum what actually... Now we have made our comment. This is not the right thing what has government has done. So let us see and hope what uh, uh, government plans on, plans on it, what government thinks on it. Then we'll decide our future. Mr. Lakshman, are you saying that had Sanya Mirza married an Indian instead of a Pakistani sports <coughs> person, you wouldn't have protested against uh, her being appointed as the brand no, ambassador? You, you see, as a national player of India, we definitely respect. As she has brought laurels to the country. You're saying you respect her, but you're but still as trying as to as humiliate as brand, somebody as like as her as by as calling as her the daughter-in-law of uh, a neighboring country? You is, see, that, is that how she, you honor she, somebody she, who's, who's represented your country at international events? You see, she is now not a. She is not. She cannot. She cannot be called for a band ambassador because she is not born in Maharashtra as per our CM statement. He wants pre 1956. Pre 1956 should be a document and evidence to be called as a native. And she cannot be killed as a native of Hyderabad or Telangana.
All right. So, Mr. Lakshman, you are basically pointing out several reasons why you object to Sanya Mirza being appointed as the brand ambassador. And just for clarity, I need you to elaborate a little more on each of these points. Just tell us what exactly are your issues. One, of course, is the fact that she is not born in the state of Telangana. She is from Maharashtra. And you are also talking about that she is the daughter-in-law of Pakistan. What else are the reasons? Could you just elaborate on what really are the conditions you think uh, that someone no. needs to qualify, someone needs to have a tick against their name? Uh, uh, to be able to be the brand ambassador of your state? Now, government should come with an explanation. What made the government to decide? Because there are players like V.S. We, 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 Lakshman, who is brought up in Hyderabad. He, he also can be considered. But what was the reason we failed to understand? Government should come out with it. All right. So you're leaving it now for the government yeah. to explain. And on your part, you're saying it's not just your personal view. It's the view of the BJP. Mr. Lakshman, Thank you for joining us. There is going to be a lot of uproar over the comments you have made describing Sanya Mirza, a national sporting icon, as a daughter-in-law of Pakistan and object. All right, and joining us on the phone line right now is Congress's uh, Manish Tiwari. Mr. Tiwari, your first comments. We spoke to the leader who had made that outrageous statement calling Sanya Mirza a daughter-in-law of Pakistan, which is why she's unsuitable to be the brand ambassador of Telangana. Well, for the lack of a better word, <clears throat> the statements are both bizarre and absurd. After all, uh, Sanya Mirza has a standing of her own, uh, notwithstanding whatever her marital status be. And uh, even if she is married to a person of a particular uh, dominion or of a particular country, that in no manner uh, takes away from the fact that she cannot be the brand ambassador if, the, uh, if a particular ch uh, state chooses her to be. Uh, so, so therefore, uh, uh, I guess uh, it's just another example, it's another manifestation of the majoritarianism which the Bharati Janata Party has started practicing, coming on the heels of the incident which happened uh, in Maharashtra Southern uh, last week and the BJP's diffidence about condemning it. Uh, it all, uh, uh, it all uh, exhibits towards a pattern. Uh, that uh, seems to have been put in place in order to polarize the country. Absolutely, Manish Tiwari. Statements like these also work at lowering the morale of sportspersons who work hard for the country and try hard to win medals uh, for India. Is this also an issue that you will be taking up in uh, Parliament today? Well, uh, the issue is uh, more fundamental than that. The issue is that uh, uh, do I, uh, uh, as an individual, have the right to uh, marry a person of my choice or not. Number two, if I get married to a person of my choice, uh, does that in any manner take away my nationality? Number three, uh, if in addition to that, I'm a sporting icon who've, who's won laurels for the country, you know, just because of my marital status, uh, does that make me fair game in the political market? So therefore, you know, there are fundamental questions with regard to multiculturalism, with regard to the plurality of India, with regard to the whole idea of India, which are being assaulted by bizarre and outrageous statements like these. Right. And what's more worrisome, Mr. Tiwari, is the fact that it isn't just one uh, voice, it isn't just one leader from the BJP who's saying this. We've heard the party president who was on the show and who he admitted that this indeed is the party's view. So there's some serious uh, questions that the BJP would have to answer as many are now asking, should Sanya Mirza be only seen through the prism of a, a, a you know, marital status or the fact that she's married to a Pakistani? Well, in the sense, if you look at the pattern, ever since the BJP government came into existence, you had a statement coming out of the Minister of State and the Prime Minister's office with regard to the repeal of Article 370. This was followed by another statement in Parliament by a senior minister seeking to bring the Uniform Civil Court back onto the agenda. Then the uh, incident with regard to the Shiv Sena MPs, which I referred to, the statements which came out of uh, the Vishwa Hindu Parishad with regard to the fact that, uh, you know, Muslims should learn their place uh, in Indian society. And then another statement out of a Vishwa Hindu Parishad leader that uh, if you've forgotten Gujarat, you know, you should not forget uh, Muzaffar Nagar. And now this latest assault on somebody, you know, who uh, has nothing to do with, uh, with politics per se. You see, it is all indicative of a pattern of polarization which is being systematically orchestrated and set in place and that is really what is worrying for India.
Manish Tiwari of the Congress Party, I appreciate your joining us and sharing your views on this. Uh, this uh, surely is going to be a hotly debated uh, statement of the BJP leader and the BJP, of course, standing its ground saying uh, we definitely oppose Sanya Mirza as a Telangana brand ambassador. He was, she was just announced as a brand ambassador of the state uh, by the state chief minister a couple of days ago.